Hi there, this is Kim Phoenix of BuyHealthPLR.com and the OnlineChick.com and today I want to show you how you can edit a mini site template or a sales page template that you get as part of various PLR packages. Um, so right here you can see this is where in this particular PLR package one of the items is the mini site template and so I'm going to just open it up just to show you. And so you can see you got the CSS, the images, and the index.html file here. One thing I will point out is if you want to have a default, um, the default method of opening your, um, the programs here, you can do that. You can set that in your, in here. So mine is set for Firefox already. So anyway, we'll just close that. Now, another really important thing Okay, we don't want that. Okay, anyway, back to it. <laughs> um, a really important thing is uh, make a copy of this because this is your original files and if something, you mess something up, then you want to still have the originals to come back to. So uh, before uh, doing this, before starting the video, what I did was I made a copy. So I copied it right here. I just copied it like this and then I pasted it. I pasted it in a different, completely different area of my computer. So we're going to head on in there right now. And we'll just find it here where I put it. There it is. And so this is what we're going to use. This is what we're going to use to upload into the program. So I'm going to show you what that program is right now. We're going to go into Composer. Composer is a free program that you can download onto your computer and this is what you're going to use to edit edit the uh, template. Okay, so if you want to change any wording or you want to add things or, you know, delete things, this is how you do it. So if you want to add testimonials to your sales page, that sort of thing, this is how you can do it. So we're going to open up that particular file. So we'll make sure I'm in the right one. I'm in my documents, correct? I'm not in my Dropbox. So this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use the copy. And there we go. So we are in here. So just a couple things to notice. You can also see HTML tags if you'd like. Um, you can also see the source code, okay? So depending what you like to work in. I'm going to work in the visual side of things here. So. Um, one thing I'm going to get rid of here is this date part and it's just like working in Word here. Now say for example I wanted to highlight something like no nothing here or bolded I mean is what I said. You can do that. There's just all different things. So it's just a matter of just working and trying out some of these different things. You want to add an image, it's there. Um, some of the important things though is like the buy now link. You want to definitely have people so that they're able to, um, they'll be able to purchase. So what you want to do is you want to create a hyperlink and this will be to the address um, where they're going to, um, they'll buy the product from you from. So if you're using a member, for example, it would be an order form. It'd be one of the order forms through a member. If you're using PayPal, um, you could direct it through that way. So there's just depends where they're going to be directed for purchase of the product. Uh, this is not, obviously, I don't have this product. Like, I have the Anxiety PLR pack for sale, but I'm not selling this particular ebook as a product. So I'm just going to put just my website, and we'll show you later that it'll direct there. All right, it says, if the image is relevant to the content of the document, you must supply alternate text that will appear in text-only browsers. Okay, so I'll maybe just put buy now. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go down and what I would want to do is anywhere there's um, maybe like a click here by clicking here, I might want to um, add link, add a link for that as well. Okay, same thing with here, add a link, wherever you'd like, buy now button again, and this as well. So you, it's same thing as I just showed you. You can also, um, if you want to change these, maybe you you just want to delete them or maybe you want to have, um, you want to link to them as well. Again, do it just up here and add that in there for whatever 
uh, URL you need it to go to. You could change the price if you don't want this price, just a matter of going in and maybe you want it to be 19, I don't know. So what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, save it, okay? And and so if you want, like I said, if you want to change any wording, you can do that in here. But for the sake of time, we are now going to save it. So I'm going to save, I'm just going to save it like this. If you prefer, you could have saved it as save as, but I know I'm saving it into the documents folder and I'm not overwriting the uh, index.html um, file that I had in my Dropbox because that's where the original one is being stored. So I know I was overwriting the one in my documents. Okay. Um, and that is it for that. All right. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into here and I am going to open this up. Okay. And we should see the changed, uh, the things, the changes that we've made. So by now it's um, linkable or clickable, I guess I should say. We got rid of uh, the dates and stuff here. We didn't, we didn't add links to these things. I think we did for the book, didn't we? Oh, maybe for the sake of time we didn't, but um, we did do it for the top by now and we changed the price down here. So there you go.